Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Slime Archer 2 the series. I'm Big LT. I'm SF Parker. Surprise! Ah! Ah! The Groby is joining us! Yes, it is I. The Groby. The man. The man. The man. Just so everybody's aware, yeah, this isn't where we left off in the last episode. We were somewhere else. We were over by... We, we were frustrated. We couldn't find the last treasure pod. Yeah. We found it. We're ready for it. We were going it's, to... it's in the most mean place. It was so easy, and yet and, we and, missed it. And yet I will bring something up when we do it, so to speak. Yeah. So, real quick, the only thing uh, we've been doing since then has just been essentially prepping. Because this is the second to last episode. Um for the series until least, more the, access comes out. Yeah, at least the base game. And for, then like, yeah, you know. for early access. Unless when new things come out, we'll definitely put an episode for it. But right now, there's just not much. So the only thing I've been doing is gathering resources um, and taking care of the ranch so I could make a bunch of stuff and show off the decorations. And also, I've got I went and got all the locations for the drones, but um, that I call the Buzzleys. And uh, there's not a whole lot left to do, so we're going to take this call. Oh, take multiple calls. What do you want? Give me stuff. I want stuff. Now, I looked at this in the fabricator. It's true he's giving us teleporters, mm -hmm. but they all say um, unavailable. Mm -hmm. So you can't make them. It's for later. What are you going to do? Mushrooms. Of course. <sighs> Another thing for me to make. Over another, poppies. Another one. What do you want? Something edible? Oh, don't have that one. Either. And Bob. Bob. Special delivery. Have a great chickens. Have a great chickens. Rainbow lumps. Oh, I haven't gotten those yet either. Is he a sign? He might be. Okay, he. He might actually be a number of slimes in a trench coat. Yeah. Do you get the joke? Yeah. So real quick, I fabricated one of almost everything. I did have one of everything except for one thing because I didn't have enough resources because I just didn't have enough time for them to respawn. But now I need to check and see what things I don't have. So... Same thing up there. I can... Yeah. I have enough to make this. This one's new. I have enough for this. You? Somehow I have enough for this. You gave me gold petal flower, cinder spike. So he must have just given me the ochre poppies then as an item. Because sometimes they'll do that where it'll just already be in your inventory. What about those two statues there? Yep. Um, this one, I didn't have enough jelly stone for, and okay, I guess I missed two of them. And this one, I could not find enough primordial oil for. I'm 10 short on this. I was 11, or sorry, I was nine short on this, but I just used some of the jelly stone. So now I am 14 short. And uh, I wish I knew what, what you wanted me to do earlier this morning, because that was free. I know, I forgot to text you back on that. I'm sorry. That's okay. But uh, other than that, many things are made. But today, we're going to focus on getting that last treasure pod we missed. And probably, because I don't have all the materials I need yet, we'll focus on the drones today. So, starting mm -hmm. off in Ember Valley. This, so this one was basically... There are two ways you can access this one. You can... Find the ledge that's over here, which I hate looking for, or you can come around the back to this opening, which seems to be created just for this purpose, right there, this ledge. And I remember we found it, but we couldn't find the statue to put the plort in. And I'm going to say this right now before, before Parker does this. She's always said this. Look up. There it is. <laughs> we missed it. It was right there. It was so frustrating. But it's open now. I brought the extra floor just in case shenanigans happen. Yeah, this is actually a really pretty area. 
but also... There's the treasure pod, the last one we needed. Well, this is, this is sad. The first time I opened this on my own file, there were resources in here. So yeah, always come back to some of the hidden areas like this, because they sometimes have resources spawn in them. And there's, there's our last storage cell. Yep. <sighs> oh, great. So I don't even know what we need for this. <laughs> uh... You can always get that in the next episode, right? The final? Yeah. All this time, we can add 50, but we never knew where it was until now. Okay, so we're gonna head back, and then, so uh, LT, mm -hmm. I gotta give you my phone. It's got all the locations for... Want me, want me to get you back towards the uh, thing for now while you get that up? Yeah. Okay. The, the conservatory, right? Or yeah, get, uh, back to the conservatory. Yeah, no problem. You want me to go straight to the fabric here? Uh, nope, you just need to get me to that teleporter that we set up. Right, the home teleporter. Right, I'm just asking when we get there, when we get there, you want me to go straight to the conservative uh, fabricator or? Nope, you can just keep me right there. Okay. So, so keep me right here. So we're actually going to start looking for all our buzzlies. Because okay. I call them our drones in the conservatory. Okay. Uh, let's see. 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 let us see I tried looking for the map myself, but I couldn't find anything. I had to watch another YouTuber who was kind enough to have, like, made an edited map with the little marks on it. Mm -hmm. So, very, very appreciative of that. So, is this going to be the Buzzly episode? Yep. Come on. Come on. No, why are you like this? Why are you not me? I think me? you had to go around like you did last time, did you not? Uh, we'll see. Oh, yeah, um... Here. I can't parkour today. <sighs> I'm an, I'm an, I'm an. Anyway, we've also got the key, so we can unlock the archived information as well. So we'll start with this guy here. This is the original. Give you a moment to read that. And this is the archive. Ooh, so there's an additional thing involved. Well. Mm -hmm. They're all like this, so we're going to go through all of them. So that's the one for here. Hopefully this won't be a pain like it was with the charger pods. No. All of them are actually fairly easy, surprisingly. Okay. Oh. You just need to know where they are. And I fed all the slimes. They should not be too upset with me. But I did not collect all their ports because... Too much work. <laughs> I had, I literally, I had to collect all their ports before I could even go and do any resource grinding. And then I came back and I'm like, I, I just can't right now. <laughs> so I fed them and I left again. So you go through this space, there's... Really? Fine. I don't know if I'll need more of you, but I'll take it anyway. So this little island back here. Hey, might as, well take a, might as well take a screenshot or something for the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a buzz lip, so. You know, that actually, be. that actually the best picture I've seen. That is pretty good. That one, and then... Judging since I know you know where all the ones on this area is, do you think I can just switch over to a different one? Yeah. Uh, there's more on there. That's, that's a zoomed in photo. So if you zoom out, there's, there's more. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got the whole island. Everybody. Yeah, I got the whole island. I just assumed it was just this one. There's, so there's not a whole lot to talk or comment on. So, you know, you guys, you can feel free to ask me any kind of slime questions you want. Get to know my slime love. Okay. Uh, if, you had, if you were working for... Um, the company right now that makes this game. I forgot what it's called. Oh, uh, Mo. Because I can't <laughs> yeah. say it because that's a problem. But you know what I'm talking about. Monomi. Monomi? Something Park? Like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you're working for them right now and they gave you they gave you um, 24 hours to create a new slime for the game, what kind of slime would you create? And what you would... throwing new slimes at me already? <laughs> uh, why? Why you do this? You're so mean. Well, I mentioned before that I, I like sheep. Here's a buzzly. So. I like sheep. 
Mm -hmm. The sheep slide would be cute. Um, so what would we call? But I don't think... Woolly slide? Oh, woolly slide. I don't know if that's the one I'd create. I was hoping you asked me something different with this, because I honestly can't think of another kind of slime that I'd want to make for the game quite yet. Okay. I think I, I could think of slimes I'd want to put in this game that already exist, but, uh... I have a question for you. Sure. If I was one of these slimes, which one would I be? What slime would you be? Yes. And let's, let's just do both the, your, the original Slime Rancher and Slime Rancher 2 because that gives us more variety. Okay, so all the slimes yeah. from Slime Rancher 1 and Slime Rancher 2. Yeah. Sure. Okay, let's think. Ooh, make another thing, people. You know what? No, there, there is no thinking. You're a ringtail slime. <laughs> I feel insulted. I don't know why, but I feel No, insulted. the thing about the ringtail slime is they're mischievous. Oh. Okay. They're adorable and they're mischievous. Oh, you know, they're adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, their mischievous side just fits you so well. Oh, thank you. Like, I don't know, there's something about it. You know, I can one one up that? Let's, let's say uh, Hunter Ringtail. Mm. The sneaky sneaky. Yeah. Oh, okay, Because yeah. the, the hunter is known to disappear and reappear out of nowhere. <laughs> so to get to this so buzz it, it, fits, it fits the Groby well because of his ninja-like skills, because he's, oh, he's popped yeah. up in front of people without them seeing him, and it's like, how long have you been there? I was like, I just got you here. You didn't ask me about Largos, though. So well, those islands mean nothing, sadly. Well, I thought Largos, um, oh. I thought Largos were fair game on the counter. We're talking, like, everything. Oh, true. So to get up here, I just use this pink coral. There might be another way, but this is just how we get to this guy over here. Yeah, while we're on this, this, that discussion, what about me? What slime do you think I would that would fit me the most? Um. Hmm. That one. Well, no, not this one. You <laughs> are. You're quite tall. Mm-hmm. So like, I don't know if that counts for anything when it comes to slimes. Well, I was gonna say you're kind of like a gentle giant. Okay. You're not like the big fluffy one though. You're not really heavy or anything like that. Right. Uh, you are tall. Right. So, I think I've got all the ones in the conservatory. Let me check that map real quick. Yep. One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, so next one. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. One there too, because... yeah I got that one. Oh, yeah, I got all five. Okay. Now it's these two. Those two? Oh, I know exactly what both of those are. Okay, on our way. So, there so, is slime. Hey! LT slime. Sorry. Let's see. Sorry about that, folks. Mm -hmm. Sorry to me. Yes. You know better. My mind okay. just slipped for a second. That's okay. We've done that a few You're... times here on the channel. You really are, like, you gotta take this as a compliment, dude. Mm -hmm. You really are one of the nicest people I've ever met. Like, right. you're just, you're sweet as pie. You really are. And that just gives me phosphor slime vibes. Okay. But I don't think you'd be full on Foster. I think you'd be a Largo. I'll, be, and... I'll, 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 I'll tell you Ooh, what. Oh, I, I need this. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I could be, yep. if I'm going to be a Largo with a Foster, because that's your idea, Yeah. put pink in there because Jack of all trades. That's, yeah, I was going to say, I think pink is the other one. Because it, it seems basic, but at the same time, it's like, you're not an overcomplicated person at all. Mm -hmm. You're nice, and you're a dude. <laughs> I know there are other things I could say, but slime I guys, have, I have a said, pink Largo. I have said uh, this many a time. I have said this to many a time about my friends. If, if you burn my, if you burn my uh, respect, my trust, and everything else in between, treat it like the holy grail. Because if you tarnish that Ooh, against me, I am going to be going after you harder than anything. For sure. It's happened to Groby. It's happened to you. It's happened to a few friends. And trust me when I say go hard, because no matter what, what have I done? I've done this again. Oh my gosh! Because they get no matter how long it's, it takes, about two years oh, yeah. before I go back to warming up about it. Yeah. I am that stubborn, so. Mm. That's anyway. why I was possibly thinking phosphor rock. Okay. Because once you've set your mind on certain things. But like, uh, like Minecraft dungeons right now, I'm working on that to get my 30 second platinum trophy. Oh yeah, you're, you've run into some issues. I'm still trying to help you with those. And you actually... know, I know when the girl is looking at me. Yeah. You need to stop. <laughs> what? Until I catch up. 
How many platinum trophies do you have right Where'd now? Where'd it go? That's a good question. Why not? I missed. <laughs> I think last time you checked, I think the last time you asked me it was like eight or nine. I missed. I missed with that port and it bounced up and I don't know where it landed. <laughs> it's just gone into the it's not like It's not like we need it. True. Anyway, let's ask more questions for uh, Parker here. Yeah. Okay. Here's another one. Sure. If you were to create an update on a holiday for the game, what would you what what holiday would you go for, and what would you put into the update? Doesn't that be doesn't that be like a new slime ranking? It could be cosmetics. It could be um, it could be a new island and what what could be centered around. Ooh, okay. Things like that. Things like that. It doesn't have to be slime. It doesn't have to be slime. For a holiday. Sauce. It could be a what? It could be a holiday themed update, and it could be cosmetics. It could be a new island. It could be anything. Mm. Well, my favorite holiday is Halloween. Right. And. And we are a couple of days away from Halloween. So if it's added into the game, I'd go for a cosmetic add-in, and that would just be that um, sort of like how you had the fashion pods in the mm -hmm. original game. I would do something for like Halloween costumes that you can put on your slimes. Yeah. So like a witch's hat. Or the bolts that you see on Frankenstein, can, or can images I, like a mummy. Can I bring something up? Actually, now that I think about it. Sure. So, tar well, I need to tar look the map. Uh, let's go. Starlight Strand. Mm -hmm. This is where I do have to start looking at the map. I'll let you look at the map first before uh, I. Uh, sorry. Okay, I know where that is. I know where that is. And I know where that is. Okay, I know where the first three are. Okay. okay. So, so for the Halloween thing. Yeah, because I want to be on that topic for this one. Okay. Tarza don't have a secret slime, at least in the original, right? Let's say they did get a secret slime, but it was through this update. Or a secret style, you mean? Yeah. And it was through this update, but the update was not just Halloween themed, it was movie based themed. Based, ar based around the Nightmare Before Christmas, Whoa. and Tars could actually have the face of Jack Skellington. Ah, uh, but Jack isn't evil. I know, but I'm just he's saying. He's a pumpkin king, but he's not evil. I know, because we brought this up before about the uh, tars having a similar look to uh, uh, Jack and That's true. I did make a, a pumpkin with a tar face. Yes. That's, I'm not saying because Jack Skellington is an evil person or a nice person. Or I'm just saying throwing that in just so that way something to have the Jack Skellington face and I think tar would just fit it perfectly. Oh, yeah. I don't, right. think, I don't, think, a tar, I don't think anything besides tar would fit it. So, that's just me. I just had an idea. Okay. So if it were Christmas based, mm -hmm. um, I would make a tar with a secret style based on the sack that Krampus carries. Or, or a lumpa pole. Uh, yeah, lumpa pole would work, but I think that works better for the rock slime. Okay. You know what? I'll, I'll give you that one. You're right on that. I like this one, so I didn't want you to see this one. So, the giant mushrooms on the island are responsible for many of the greatest botanical discoveries of my life. Sorry, but it's a secret. He reveals a secret. He's, he made pizza. He made mushroom pizza. Mega mushroom pizza, it says. Mega mushroom pizza. I don't know where he got cheese, peppers, uh, and sauce from, and how he baked it. Maybe he got a boom slime to help him with that, but, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that's, a, that's one of the little This one I like. He's, he's one of my favorite little guys. Yeah. Little known fact about me, I'm actually learning from mushrooms. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't know there was an allergy to mushrooms. Or like edible mushrooms, I figure. Yeah. yeah. We learn something new every day. Then what do you know? Anyway, uh, Groby, do you have a question for Parker about the game or something? Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really. Not really. Well, here, here's a thought I had. If the slimes were all given brand new secret styles mm -hmm. for Slime Rancher 2, including slimes from Slime Bye. Rancher 1, am I high enough? Oh, I'm not going to be high enough, man. No, oh, God, yeah, I made it. I just barely made it. Um, I think I'd want to see a secret style where the Tangle Slime becomes like a mushroom. And because it's a cordyceps, it could be based on like a cordyceps mushroom, because we know it's a, a meat-eating plant, and the cordyceps takes over uh, other creatures in order to cause them to perish and thus be food for itself. So I figure like cordyceps mushroom 
secret style. Okay. I got so it. I this got actually it. one's pretty important. It's talking about the breach. Um, this one's a little sad, but uh, this one actually is kind of important because um, he's talking about the structure. Everyone calls it the labyrinth now. Like the space beyond here, they keep referring to it as the labyrinth because of the clues given by GG here. So he, you can see these these archived ones. He's all excited. He's bright eyed, bushy tailed. He just got in, and these ones he's talking about his homesickness and his regret and going down memory lane with certain things. Anyway, I got a question for you, Parker. Sure. I know we brought this up earlier because we were talking about sketching and everything. Mm -hmm. But if you if you had to take every slime in, in Slime Archer One and Two and take them to the Pokemon World, what Pokemon do you think the slimes would be the most happy to see? Happy to see, like yeah. what Pokemon From, would they make friends with? Friends with and be happy to see and all that stuff. Like we yeah, brought up this before, the the Puddle Slime slash uh, Lily Pad Slime would be best for Low Tad. Oh yeah, I, I think Low Tad and the Puddle Slimes would get along quite well. Yeah. Um, but you gotta think of like uh, you gotta think of something else besides that. Yeah, no, the Rock Slime I think would get along with basically every Geo dude ever. Okay. <laughs> like, there's just there's no doubt in my mind that that would be the case. Okay. Let me go collect that buzz wax. I do need more of this. Um, what about uh, what about honey? I feel like that's gonna be a tricky one. Actually, no, that's combi. That's combi. Yeah, that's, you're right. That's like combi. that, you made that easy for me. That's Com a combi, uh, hair cross. Ah. Yeah, I guess not. Technically, that's nectar. So if anything, I could no, no. Okay, the reason why I would say that is because I was thinking like the flutter slimes in this game love the nectar, but Heracross likes nectar, so it's like they eat competition. Yeah, that'd be the competition. But I also feel like the the flutter slimes would also go with like Beautifly, Butterfree, and all that. Yeah, I think that they would go really well with Vivalon because Vivalon's the only butterfly-like Pokemon I know of mm -hmm. that doesn't immediately bring up thoughts of competition for a flutter slime because we know that Beautifly can actually be quite aggressive with its uh, with its long nose in search of nectar. Um, and I just feel like Vivalon is probably the most gentle of all of them. Okay. It's the least aggressive. Okay. I don't know why. I'm just, that's the way I feel about it. Okay. So Before we get into this madness, I need to check the map again. Yep. So I've got those three. Um... Hold on, hold on. Sorry. I was just checking. Oh, I know. I know what that is. Mm -hmm. I know what that is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to focus on those two for now. Okay. okay. So what about... Just like, I'm looking at this map like... So before I get your answer on this one, I'll say my answer for this. I'm going to say Pink Slime, Jigglypuff. No, I would have said Ditto. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you want... you're right. I didn't think of that. Ditto was a good friend, man. You're right. I didn't think of that. I am so sorry. For not for overlooking good old Ditto. Yeah, Ditto's are better, man. Yeah. I, know. <laughs> I just think that Ditto has the same level of mischievousness to it that Ditto has. Uh, Pink Slime and Ditto, I just feel like they'd be best friends. Angler would be Ching Chow, granted. True. But I feel like Lantern would also get along really well with it. So Ching Chow line, pretty much. But also Huntail. Because Huntail has a similar jaw, and I'm pretty sure they're both meat eaters, so. Okay. So, so, the hunter. so here's, yeah, how about the Hunter? I was going to bring that one up. Um, Hunter can get along with quite a few things. I think it might get along well with, like, Mightyena, because they hunt in packs. Sure. And they can be aggressive if you're not careful. Yep. I can see Mightyena. I was thinking, like, Hunt, uh, hunt Kecleon? Uh, you know what a hunter slime is? turning invisible? Yeah. Oh, I Oh, understand. yeah, they might. Yep. They might get along for that. And, and the thing is, just like Kecleon with its with its line when it turns invisible, you can see a hunter slime just by looking at its eyes. True. Yeah. You, you know when you see a hunter slime because, it, because even when it's just disappeared, you can see its eyes. Yeah, this is partial drone, partial collecting resources. I really do need to focus, though, on getting the drones, which I have nicknamed the Buzzleys over here for this next one. We'll do one more quick uh, slime with Pokemon thing here and then let's okay. try a different let's try a different uh, question for you, okay? Sounds good. And if you want to come back, you can always come back. I am right. Uh, no. 
So, what about the rats then? I think I... Here we go. The rat slime. Throw yeah, a tough one bar. there if I can. It's radioactive. There's not any radioactive Pokemon, not that we know of, at least not that I can think of. Yeah. So, you have to do something with rat slimes. Oh, Rogi's looking at me like, seriously? You're forgetting one. And I'd like to know what that one is. Yeah, tell us, Degrobi. Uh, Trubbish and, uh, it's evolution. Dark. Dark Dark yeah. They're not radioactive. They're not radioactive, they're just pollution. I can see where he's coming with yeah. this. Yeah. Like, I was gonna say, I think we have to ignore the radioactive side of things and focus more on the fact that it is one of the sort of glowy slimes that where it doesn't glow because it has a light it glows because of uh internal chemistry so okay. that's basically bioluminescence and honestly the only thing i can think of that's toxic in a similar way to radiation mm -hmm. um at least in the slime and pokemon world would be a poison type so think of mushroom pokemon hanging out in glimwood tangle maybe shenotic Actually, when you were bringing up toxic uh, or poison type Pokemon that are. Like, why, I, that, why like, are you here? No way. You, you were, when you were talking about poison types and whatever you were talking about to go with it? Yeah. Back in my mind, I thought about it. I was like, Grimer and Muck. I did think of them at, at a point as well. Especially their Alola forms. Yeah, Alola forms, yes. I think, yeah, I think Alola, Grimer, and Muck would possibly go along really, really well with. Okay. Um, the rat slime. Okay. Alright, so here's a question. There you are. Here's okay, a question. Find it for a moment. Here's a quick question if you're up for it. Sure. Let's say there was a new slime, but it was based on electricity and a power plant. What was so, it? Quicksilver slime. I was thinking Quicksilver. I was actually thinking like actual electricity shooting out of it. Not because it's just shooting something to make it electrical, but because I feel like the Quicksilver is more mercury. Anything. That's true. It that, likes to eat electricity. Yeah, it likes to eat electricity, I think, because it's mercury. But I not, do know where that is. Okay. But no, I was thinking like get over there. I was thinking like actual electric slime, an actual where it actually shoots electricity. Well, then it'd have to be like a storm cloud kind of slime. Okay. So I'm thinking storm in a bottle. I was kind of trying to figure a way to go the Voltorb route, to be honest. Hmm. Or a Magnemite route. You know, uh, I'm not when sure. When you were mentioning uh, the Alolan uh, Monk mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, Grammar, mm -hmm. yeah. the Alolan Monk actually uh, reminds me personally of. Uh, those sand things that you get back at the fair. Oh, the, the col colored sand? The colored sand. Where you put the sand in layers and then you use toothpicks and stuff to, yeah, to mix them. Yeah. And when you go home and you're really sad because your parents didn't love it as much as you did, so they let it get shaken and then all the colors turn into gray. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's been my experience anyway. Truth be told, we do know that Elo and Buck is based on oil spill. Yeah. So Oil so spill. spill. Yeah. Yeah. Dead, dead. Okay, we've got all the buzzleys from here. Okay, the so places. I should switch over to the Ember. Ember Valley. There's only one more picture, one more map. Yep, and I got it up right now. <laughs> Perfect. I'll, I'll yeah. let you see it once you get there. But yeah, that that actually makes sense with the oil and the muck. Yep. Oil, oil slick. slick. Oil slick, oil spill, oil pollution. Mm-hmm. Oh. Buzz vibes. I know I wasn't able to get a whole lot of this before, so I'm just grabbing it just in case. Here's a question, and this one's gonna be an easy one for you, Parker. Okay. What's your favorite thing about Slime Rancher? <laughs> um, boom. Nah. Oh, God, there's so many things I like. I can let you name a few, but not all. Mine's the one. Like that one. Okay, I think. If, if, I, if, I give you, if I give you a maximum, it would be three. Okay, I'll pick three things then. Three things so, you, that you like about the game. Well, can it be three things from each game? All together. 
all together can't be from each game. Nope. Oh. Okay, fine, 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 fine. fine. So, three things, not in any specific order. Uh, one of them's gonna be the music. Yep. There's just some areas where I am in love with the music. Like, there's certain music in Ember Valley that I just love. There's certain music in the Ancient Ruins that I love. Oh, it's just... Uh, second thing is gonna be, again, not in any specific order, um, the exploration. The, the worlds that they built, these places, and what you can explore, and what you can find, just, I love it. It's it's like being alive in a fairy tale. Oh, guys, it, it hits that, that itch I have for escapism. Okay. Just looking at the map here for a second. Oh, I know where I'll go first. Oh. Um, and the third thing... It's gonna be tough. I think I didn't necessarily need to come over here to do this. Actually, I didn't need to come over here at all to do this. Gosh darn it. I am a dork. I need to go a little farther this way first. We're all dorks here, aren't we? Yes, we are. We're proud of it. We are? Yes. You know what? <laughs> that includes you, Groby. This is going to be a little bit weird, but I think my, my third favorite thing is going to be the jetpack. All the shit I can get away with with this jetpack, man. You know, one of the things that I was actually expecting you to I'm say... I'm saying it's separate from, from exploration, because you can walk through this world and be just fine, but in my opinion, the jetpack is like really helps bring it. To be honest, full. I thought maybe one of the big the big things you were going to say was the caddy. I love cats, but... Kitty. Like, Cause I, cause this I game is so much more than just kitty. Right, yeah. I know. Besides, I love all the slimes. Like, I love some slimes more than others. Mm -hmm. And even in this game, like, there are some slimes that I think I like more than Tabby. Cats are still my favorite thing ever, but I don't think they're my favorite slime. Alright, so here's another question. Okay, get out of my way. Here's another question. Okay. What's your three least favorite things you like about Slime Rancher Hole, and you cannot use TARS. Oh no, um, I've recently come to actually appreciate TARS quite a bit. Um, I wanted to be able to play through the game and actually be able to hear the music, so I turned TARS and Ferals off. Um, and yeah, I've gotten to listen to the music like I wanted to, but believe it or not, not having the TARS in the game actually makes things harder, mm -hmm. because TARS acts sort of like a natural filter where you don't have to worry about overcrowding and too many random Largo slimes all over the place. Like literally there are times where there are so many Largos in a place where I'm at, where I struggle to gather resources, I struggle to gather their ports. I know where I am, dude. Okay. Um, I, I struggle to even just pick up regular slimes that I want for the ranch. TARS are a natural, like, you know, not phenomenon. Um, what am I thinking? Darwinism. They're, they're a natural part of the Darwinism that helps, like, alleviate the space so I can actually, like, get through. Oh, yeah, check this one. I can hear them. Oh, yeah. They, uh, they help with overcrowding, essentially. Um, I think my least favorite thing about it isn't the TARS. It's that, specifically in this game, um, TARS are too frequent. So without TARS, you run the struggles, but with TARS, you also run the struggles. So I think there's a lack of balance with how quickly TARS appear in this game to the point where sometimes when I'm playing with the TARS on, I don't get to hear any of the other music in the background because it's just a, a hint of music and then boom, TARS are back. Over and over and over. It's very frustrating. Okay, so now I'm the So, so now I know I'm you said there. not TARS. The TARS are not my least favorite thing. It's uh, the imbalance with the TARS that I struggle with. Okay, I'll let that one slide. What's the other two? Okay, another least favorite thing. Um, you get up to three. <sighs> oh gosh. There's so many things I like about the game that it's really hard for me to think about what I don't like. So you've never taken the time to like sit down and think about, I don't like this about the game, I don't like this about the game? Well, that's just because there's so much in the game that I do like mm -hmm. that 
Oh, you know what? I don't, <clears throat> and this is something that's peeved me for a really long time. Okay. I don't like how long it takes to get um, in your storage tanks to get to 100 items. I feel like one of the biggest pet peeves I have, especially when I'm trying to balance, you know, taking care of my ranch and going out and exploring the world, what I'm able to do is limited by how many items I can hold, um, specifically when I'm cleaning up my ranch. And when I have to to make trip after trip after trip to to the corrals to gather the ports and put them in the link, market link, by the time I'm done with that, they've already eaten and have more ports for me and I don't get any time to go and explore. So that really only balances itself out once you've got the, the capacity of 100. And I feel like you get way too late in the ranch. One of the ranches I've actually started recently, I have intentionally not planted their favorite foods. Mm -hmm. I give them literally just carrots, pogo fruit, and the regular hen hen to keep the port production down because I can't get a pack big enough to make collecting all the time I spend collecting ports worth it. I'd rather be out exploring. I had to really heavily simplify it and that was really frustrating for me. I have a question for you. Okay. What's your favorite area in Slum Rancher 2? My favorite what? Area. Area? Oh, wait, I haven't even finished. I have one more bad thing I have to bring up. Yeah, I'll let it slide. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a whole lot of bad things. Like, aside from teeny tiny pet peeves that I'm pretty sure are my own pet peeves, like, that's, that's really all there is. Except maybe the fact that, um, some of the secret styles just really, really suck. <laughs> well, anyway, now you can talk about your favorite area. Inside. Favorite area. Oh, gosh. That, that's not easy for me. Because there is only three. Well, but there so is areas that are available right now. In Slime Rancher 2 specifically? Or are we talking all of Slime Rancher? I don't I've never really seen the... Uh, oh, you've never seen the first one. I've never seen the, the first one. Okay. Um... This guy. Favorite areas? I think. Just one in general for this one. I think <laughs> actually it is going to be Ember Valley. Okay. There's, there's just something about it that I really, really like. Um, and it's, it's definitely not the flashiest of areas. Okay. It's, I got this. Okay. Uh, it's not the flashiest of areas. Um, it's not because it's got like the dark emo cave. Um. Or the, you know, oh, that's so cool, volcano. That's not really it. It's more because Ember Valley, more than any of the other places in this game, allows me to challenge myself with everything. Can I climb on this? Can I jump to this? How high is this? How far can I go? How high can I get? I think of all, all the places that are available in Slime Rancher 2, there aren't any places where I've taken nearly as many screenshots of me at the highest point I could possibly reach. Like, I've climbed to the top of the volcano, I've climbed to the top of just about every single rock, and I just, I very much love it. I don't, in real life, I don't have the physical build to, to accomplish these things, and even if I did, um, I don't necessarily have the, the financial means to go and, you know, climb Mount Fuji or anything like that. Even though but, uh, that Fuji in itself is uh, restricted. I, I had meant to say a different mountain, but I, I meant to say Everest, but the yeah. word escaped me. Yeah. But, um, I wouldn't mind climbing on Everest, to be honest. But that, that is one of the, the key Batman, things about... That's one of the key things about Ember Valley is just that I, I can climb every single rock and stone to my heart's content. No, I would... Oh, sorry, the Joker. Not that actually, not the Joker either. Okay, and that curious. combines with one of my favorite things in the game, the jetpack. <laughs> I'm curious to know who would be Groby's climbing partner for Mount Everest would be. Huh? If I climb Mount Everest, oh. who would be my partner? Come on, Larry. Think. Sorry, LT. It's okay. Gotta think. Yeah. Who would be my climbing partner climbing the tallest mountain? As much as I know you, I don't think I know you well enough to know this answer. You have to be a ninja, right? 
actually, no. you're partially right. I am? Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's why I said partially. It's got to be like a ninja. I have no clue. Why. Would it be one of the assassins' peoples? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's here. Oh, it's here. No. That's you. Yes. That's, oh, yeah. Who wouldn't like going on a mountain climbing trip with Ezio? But it would not just be Ezio. Oh. So there's more than one assassin? There's, there's two. Well, I know Altair is not one because you already can just Yeah, that's it. just. Edward? Because there are your fingers a fish hook. Oh, interesting. That's literally what he says uh, when you. Uh, Hold on, I knew there's a lot. I need this primary oil. I need it. <laughs> I have to get it before I get the other things. But yeah, when you're going through the first actual town with Edward Kenway, mm -hmm. and he climbs at the viewpoint there to see whether that tavern is. Mm -hmm. He tells the, his traveling partner that every finger is a fish hook so you can climb better. Mm. Well, I believe it. Nice. Here's a question for Porter. Okay. If you were to travel to, if you were to travel to real life locations of mm. Slime Rancher 1 and 2, who would you bring along? Oh no. My cat. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I meant person. Oh, meant to travel with me? Yeah, I meant an actual person. Oh, I might need that. Um. Oil. Right? Oh, uh, the same. Be. Oh. Okay. I have a friend in mind. Okay. But you guys don't know her. Okay. But her and I both have a passion for outdoors and nature stuff. Okay. And I think she would just love exploring all the flora and fauna with me. Okay. So, but I'm not going to say more than that because she well, doesn't have a, a name to go by. But uh, yeah, no, I got a person. She's um. Understandable. She's a smart cookie. I, I understand that. I'll ask them. Do you have any more questions? Hmm. Actually, yeah. Okay. So. With the, all the locations with Slime Ranch 2, what are they based on? Uh, like, what areas are they based on in real life? Oh, okay. So, I just. I right. never, never thought of that. Never thought to sit down and think about that. You're welcome. So, the ranch in Slime Rancher 1, it, it just gives me, like, I don't know, it gives me southern. United States feels. Um, maybe it's because it's right next to the dry wraith, which kind of reminds me a little bit of like the dusty areas. It also gives me a little bit of Australia vibes as well. Um, the ancient ruins. Hmm. Ancient ruins are unique in the sense that. Oh, yeah, I can't climb on this very well. Come on. Oh, boy. They have trouble playing comes, buzzes? No, I know where they are. It's just I'm distracted. The ancient ruins are a little bit tricky because they're not in a jungle, which is what most of the ruins we tend to still have are. Like you don't just walk through a, a temperate biome forest and be like, oh, yep, there's an ancient ancient relic. Like it's just it's not a thing. Okay. I think maybe the closest thing you could find is maybe like some of the stuff left behind by Scandinavians. Um, I think that'd be the closest. And I think walking through something to find ruins, I think, like deserts. Yeah, and the ancient ruins in this game is not a desert. Not by, not by a long shot. I got a question for you, Parker. Okay. With Minecraft having pixel mod, would you also play a mod on Minecraft based around Slime Rancher? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, how can you ask me that question? It's not a question, that's when will you play it, not if you would play it. Even I knew that. 
<laughs> I know, I'm just saying. I'm just asking. I wanted to hear it. You're just poking the bear there. <laughs> well, you know what? A teddy bear slime would probably be really cute. Yeah, I can see that. It's kind of cool. And then it would look kind of like it's stitched up with fabric, even though it's slime. Yeah. Rather more oil. We do need to hurry up these episodes, so we might want to find where the rest of those are. Uh... I know where they are. I'm just trying to get the primordial oil. I know. I'm just saying. Okay, I will focus less on resources now. Okay. Oh, I got 20. I'm good with the primordial anyway. Okay, so next one. It's over this way. I got, a, I, I got a question that's kind of more information type question. Sure. Do, is there actually a Slime Rancher convention somewhere? Oh, that I would not know. I thought maybe you would. <gasps> so you should probably do some research on it and let us know. If there's a Slime Rancher convention, I'd want to go. <laughs> That'd be cool. We're around here somewhere. Because Parker, you and I have been to a Pokecon before. Yes, I need to go to SlimeCon. Some, that'll be a good one. Make it a thing. Where are you? Where did you go? Here's another question for you. What would you cosplay as from Slime Rancher? Ooh. I meant to get this guys. There we go. We're in my way. I can't get to mostly. There we go. What would I cosplay as? Mm. That's a question of if I would cosplay at all. Cosplays take a lot of time and energy. Right. I know, but if you did have that time and energy to do so, with no with zero with zero problems and effort, but still make a great cosplay that wowed everybody, what would you cosplay as? The reason why I'm bringing this up is because I've I've heard of cosplays of Sharknado. So, there's a cosplay of Sharknado? Yes. yes, there are there are Sharknado cosplays that, that show up in conventions. Oh my god, that's really weird. And I found out about this from Channel Awesome when they did a uh, Sharknado review from the first movie. They brought up that they brought up Sharknado cosplays in conventions and they're pretty good looking. They look pretty cool. But that's the reason why I want to bring this up is because like out of all the slimes and whatnots that are in Slime Rancher, what would you cosplay as? And I'll even throw in Beatrice in there, and all the and all the other and all her friends. So Mochi's Mochi's. Oh, uh, you know what? Mochi's fine. So is that one woman that I can't remember her name. Thora. Yes, Thora. Hold on, I need to check. You can even you can cosplay as Bob. I don't want to cosplay as Bob. <laughs> Go around saying chickens, chickens. Perfect! That I'm in the right order that I wanted to. I mean, that would be really, really fun. But, oh my god. The girl we just showed me the Sharknado cosplay. One of them. Not baseball. No way, I like that first one. <laughs> this is the last puzzle coming up. And we're going back to the con conservatory or whatever it's called. I can, never, I can never remember what it's called. Uh, we might head back. I might do some more resource gathering um, before I head back, or I'll do it after we head back. Depends. This one's also really important. He's talking about how uh, the gate is sealed. So this particular gate is sealed and abandoned. And this is how it's right? Yeah. Okay. And then here, this is interesting. It says, the labyrinth must wrap around most of the island. How long was I even in there? Next time, I'm definitely bringing lunch and an extra fork. He has a thing about losing forks. Uh, in any case, he needs to rest, and then he's going right back in. Thank you. So, he he makes an interesting point that he thinks the labyrinth wraps around the whole island, but clearly, like, we got here somehow. It can't wrap around the whole island because we see ocean and we don't see walls out there. The only place we really see a wall is down here and a little bit over here. So whatever's going on, there's some 
maybe spatial distortions or something. And who knows? A lot of people have theorized. And who knows? Maybe we'll find the answer in future updates. I, I hope so. I have a theory about that. Sure. So if he says it's around the whole, wraps around the whole island, what if it's not above the ground? Above ground. What if it's underground? To wrap around the whole island, but be underground. Yeah. It'd be the first time that the the ones that came before ever built anything underground. Um, like under underground. Yeah. But it would be an interesting concept. Concept, yeah, because they've never done it before. So why not do it? That's really cool. I like that idea. Thank you. Be like it'd be like an underground Atlantis. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, so oh god, that actually sounds really fun. I'd explore that. All right, let's see. I just want to explore Atlantis. Actually, that'd be cool, like an underground ruin type thing, kind of similar to the slime ruins. Yeah, only part of those are underground, but the part that was underground was really cool. Yep. So they could definitely build off of it. Yep. So, take that concept of the ancient ruins from the original game, bring that into this game, but make it completely underground with ruins all over. And it being a labyrinth. Yep. Alright, we're back. I've done everything I can. That's all the Buzzleys. We found them, we found all their archives, stuff. Do I have any phone calls? No. Of course I don't. Nobody anyway, calls me. So we're right, good to wrap up? Yep. All right. And next episode will be our final one. And it's just going to be uh, some shenanigans with decorating. Sounds good. Is that all you need to say? Um, you can, you can, uh... Well, I just need to make sure if there's, is there anything else you can add on? Or I don't you... know. Okay. You can sign us up. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Slime Ranch 2 of the series. I'm the Big LT. Hi, Vanessa Parker. And the myth, the man, the legend, the Groby. And thank you for joining us, Groby. I know this isn't your particular style of game, but we appreciate you joining us. Of course. And do you have any final words for us, um, Groby? My presence in the videos make it a better video. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. It's like it's like it's like, it's like, no, Gabe, it's like Gabriel Iglesias. The moment we start recording, he knocks on the door and walks in. He's here. Oh my God! And he's, like, and he's like, I have graced your presence, everyone. You have witnessed perfection. Well, it's a good thing I was collecting radiant ore and lava dust because I yeah. needed it for this. But anyway, do you have any final words, uh, Puppet? <sighs> this was a pretty relaxed episode. With just some commentary, and the next one's pretty much going to be the same. And um, uh, if any of you had been. Uh, finding my Twitter art. I haven't posted much recently only because um, I'm having some some art block and some issues. I've got some of it done. I'm probably going to post it all in a large bunch before Slimetober ends. It's not going to be anything as impressive as I was trying to do before. I've taken a more relaxed, a relaxed state with it because these challenges are a lot harder than I thought, I, thought they'd be. Like making good quality art takes time and trying to do one every single day with your regular schedule is just insane so those, those are my final words if you're following i will be posting more art uh by october 31st all right so up, man guys thank you all so much for watching take care see you guys next time bye bye, bye. bye.